Welcome to Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And today we are opening some old school magic. Actually, not magic as such, an accessory because this is sent to me by your playmat. And um, this is kind of cool. I got a mail from your playmat and they asked me uh, if they could send me uh, a pack of custom sleeves in whatever design I want to. So um, obviously I said yes, I said I have one condition. Um, you need to allow me to make a video and to give my honest opinion about it. So they agree with that and I'm gonna open it now and we're gonna see how good the sleeves are. I'm also going to sleeve them up, do a little bit of shuffling. And I just wanna say beforehand, this is not, uh, you know, I'm not a review kind of guy, so I'm not very good at that stuff. but. Obviously, I do care about, you know, getting good sleeves and, and good stuff for, for my cards. So here we go. I don't want to show the design yet. The design is made by my buddy, Matt Strott. Um, and he's made a design based on a photo of me, I believe, on, on Instagram, <laughs> which is pretty cool. Now, I'll actually show it here and you can kind of compare. So these are the sleeves. Here you can see me. It actually really looks like me. So this is kind of the sleeve and there are 60 sleeves in total. They feel good. And um, this design is kind of funny. Like this is what the protocol sorcerer wears. Obviously my, my beard looks a little bit different than the Timmy, but you know, it's a nice, it's a nice little, little thing. And, and this is um, a Mox Sapphire, by the way, that that's around my neck. So I thought that was really cool made by, by Matt. Uh, but these sleeves are custom print, so I send them a high-resolution picture of this logo, and they printed it here on this uh, on this sleeve. Looks all right. So what I'm gonna do? There's 60 in total. I'm gonna let's have a look. Let's see if they're all if they all have the nice quality print. They seem to be really, really good. A little bit light, so I wonder when I put a card in, if you can see the card through a look, you can kind of see shadow in my hand. So I'm gonna try that out. Let's see, let me have a look. Oh yeah, that's kind of a nice card. A Dragon Whelp, right? So let's put a Dragon Whelp in there. Let's go. There we go. Nope, nothing to see here. So it does cover up completely. And here you can see the cart. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm actually gonna sleeve the whole deck up. I've got a deck right here. Let's make some space. I got a nice deck right here, but they're just in yellow sleeves. And uh, you know, I'm gonna put these sleeves on and then I'm gonna do some shuffling and then uh, yeah, we're gonna see what the quality is. So give me a minute. I'm gonna shuffle these guys up. sleeve this is it maybe you're wondering why does he have that big book well I'm about to show you why let's first try to get these piles but even when you just got new sleeves usually there's too much air this is a really nice card by the way look at that nice signature nice signed bolt by the man himself Christopher Rush and uh, let's try to spread these out a little bit evenly 
There we go. There we go. In a moment, I'm gonna shuffle, but first, let's get some air out of these. Bam, there's the book. Usually, I would kind of leave this on for a whole night, and I'm probably gonna do that after, but I first would like to do some shuffling with these. And kind of see how they feel. Right now, they feel pretty new, which makes absolute sense because they are, so. And of course, what I'm curious about, and I think everybody who's had um, sleeves with art on them, it usually has this issue that the art can go off, like it starts peeling off if it's kind of like a lower quality. And this is something that happens over time. So I'm, I'm not expecting it to happen now, but it all looks very good, but you really can't tell um, by just shuffling a few times. You have to use the cards for a longer period of time to say, okay, these are good sleeves or not, or this is a quality print at the back. So here we go. So here we've got the cards. As you can see, there's still quite some air in them, which is absolutely normal. So like I said, usually I would uh, just put a book on them for the night, a heavy book that kind of helps it. I have to say, I'm quite impressed by the quality of the print. It's looking really good. There's absolutely no see-through. The cards, they feel, they feel good. They're still a bit slippery, of course, because they're new sleeves, but not super slippery. It's gonna take a hand. There we go. Just some gold fishing. Ooh, only one land, yuck. I didn't do very well on the shuffling. Anyway, let's just see how they lay in the hand. Got a couple more. Yeah, they, they feel good. They're staying straight. And this is the air working. That's what you're seeing here. And if you put a book on here, the air will go out. Let's shuffle it again. Let me know in the comments below, by the way, how you decide what kind of sleeves you get. If you've ever gotten custom sleeves, um, yeah, like I know Dragon Shield is also making custom sleeves and how that's how that's been going for you. So I'll play these sleeves for a tournament and um, I guess then I can kind of know and tell if, if the quality stays the same. So I'll probably post some matches of that on uh, Timmy Talks as well. So I'd like to definitely thank your playmat for sending me these absolutely gorgeous sleeves. And as far as I can tell, they seem to be of good quality. But like I said, you know, time will tell. I have to really play these to kind of know how the sleeves will hold up. Let me know if uh, if you've used your playmat and um, yeah, if, if you like them or if not, you know, just let me know. If you're interested in getting custom playmats by your playmat, um, there's a referral code in, um, in the comments below. I'll post one in the comments below, or you can also check the description of this video. So there you can also find one. As far as I can tell, it's looking pretty good, but I mean, they do need a night under this big, big book. In case you're wondering, this is a trading guide and I believe it's German, a German trading guide. I love to use it to flatten my sleeves. It works really well. So there we go. I'm gonna leave this for a night and I'd like to thank you for watching another video right here on Timmy Talks. Let me know what you think of the sleeves, if you like them, or maybe you don't, let me know why. Uh, let me know if you've ever made custom sleeves yourself. Uh, like I already said, I wanna thank your playmat for sending me these sleeves. They've been very relaxed in contact, very open-minded people. So, so far I've got a pretty good impression of, uh, of what they're about. Um, and that's it, that's it for this uh, this little small mill day. And this was all about the sleeves pimping out your deck, I guess. Um, if you wanna support the channel, leave a like. You can subscribe as well, of course, if you're not a sub yet. And um, if you have any questions, let me know. And um, let's go to the end scroll. Let's check out the amazing, the fantastic patrons and channel members of Timmy Talks. Let's go. What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor?
Ik het als vinkertje somber gezien.